Hello everyone and welcome again to SDVOE Presents Face to Face AV with Justin Kennington. That's me, your host, Justin Kennington, and I'm joined today by someone I met uh, about a year ago when we were uh, on, on very similar couches to this. Yes. Uh, it's Zek Voislav from Wirestorm. He's the product manager for their Network HD line of products. Zach, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Justin. I mean, it's always good to see you and always good to be here on this great show. I think this one is one of the biggest uh, we have in the world for... Uh, Certainly it is. For, yeah. Um, last year, we spoke about our SDVOE products. I talked about how we redesigned the whole uh, box uh, because now it's a new chipset, as you know, and uh, they, it doesn't consume so much power. So it, it gave us opportunity to reduce the box size, to have a PoE Plus finally, so no uh, external power supplies anymore. And uh, it doesn't have to be cooled uh, like before. Sure. So, so the box is much, much better and convenient. So uh, that's new. And what we also have is the new trans transceiver. Mm -hmm. So that's, I'm, I'm really surprised and the customers are really love it because now within the box you can do uh, receive and transmit at the same time using a single, single cable. But I don't want to repeat myself uh, from the last year. They can watch the last so year. So you're right. You got you got n n products from last year that are that are redesigned around our ASIC. So they're power exactly. decreased. That's our sustainable. We're also flexible and available. So let's talk about flexible. You have a, a new software controller that exactly. can manage these devices. Let's so hear about that. We have a new Network HD CTL Pro. Uh, what is really cool about this control processor is that it, it has a built-in web UI. So you don't have to install any, any, any control software. It doesn't have to be like a Windows machine or anything. You can use any device that supports a, a web browser. So you just plug your controller, that controller to the power, you connect it to the network, you, run the, you, you, you type the IP address of the controller into your web browser, mm -hmm. it will show you the, the, the web UI. Uh, what is really nice about it is that anybody can configure it, your system. So you will connect all your SDVOE endpoints, your transmitters, receivers, and the CTL Pro will discover it automatically, show it in that uh, web browser. But once you power it for the first time, you will be uh, displayed with a welcome message. It will ask you to whether you want to do a, a, a wizard uh, configuration. What is that? Is the seven-step wizard that helps you actually you just answer the questions. In the first step, you set the IP address of your controller. In the second step, you set the IP address of your endpoint. And then in the third step, you, it, you will be asked whether you have a video once. You can specify how big that video wall is, mm -hmm. where your receivers are going, which part of video wall. Then you can set the multi-views. So in the multi-views, you can set uh, different kind of layouts, how you want to configure the multi-view, and how you want to have those picture-in-picture -picture arbitrary layouts and so on. And then lastly, you will be prompt to be asked about where you want to control your display. So as you know, we can control display through CC, through sure. RS-222, or through the, through the IR. So you can specify uh, where you want, uh, what kind of commands you want to put in those, in those ports. So once you're done with that, just click uh, finish, and you will be displayed with all your system already configured, IP addresses, video walls, uh, So then you have names. an interface that's now been customized for exactly. exactly the system that you've got. Exactly. So that's something new, that's something that we are really um, having a really good feedback about it. The API behind it, it's really, really easy to read it, really easy to integrate the third-party third control system. Oh, good, I wanted to ask about that. With that, so we have already, we have pre-built uh, modules for Crestron, Control 4, RTI, Savant. Wow. So uh, you don't need to program it from the scratch. Everything is pre-made for you. You just need to name your endpoints, and you're good to go. Awesome. Um, you talked about multi-view in there, and, and before our interview, you were you were talking about some misunderstandings that people had. Exactly. Uh, the multi-view capability of SDVOE is is certainly the most complex part of the platform. Exactly. Uh, and you were telling me some real-world stuff that got people confused. Exactly. Why don't you elaborate a little bit? Let's so see if we can clear it up. What, what I saw is that uh, people don't quite understand how multi-view works on SDVOE, and uh, they don't see the part where the multi-view the 
there are two streams that are coming from the encoder. From each transmitter, each encoder, right? Exactly. So uh, you have your main full uncompressed uh, stream that mm -hmm. goes uh, from the from the encoder, and then you have a secondary low banded stream that is used in the multi -view. Correct. So the from the encoder you get the scaled scaled source, scaled uh, uh, content already coming from the source. So when you're using multi-view, you can specify different size of tiles in your yeah. multi-view. And now the problem comes when, when you try to, to show that source uh, on the two different uh, uh, windows, two different resolutions, you will end up with either a bigger picture or the smaller picture mm -hmm. because it can be one resolution can be shown in two different windows. So uh, it's really important to people to understand so it doesn't come from the conf uh, confusion. What we built in, 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 our, in our control system is that when you build your multi-view, you specify your uh, resolutions. Once you drag and drop the transmitter, your source, into those uh, window tiles, mm -hmm. it will prompt a uh, message saying that this is not possible. But if you are using an API, if you are configuring your yeah. but with your API, you need to be careful. With well, that. that's that's good. You're actually you're bringing back memories for me, right? Years and years ago, when when I was helping specify this multi-view interface, we realized look the the capabilities of the chipset, the the limits on multi-view are extremely complex and extremely complex to define. Even I mean, there's some very strange limitations like you can have a on a single line of video, as you're looking at it, you know, maybe you're looking at image A or image B or image C, you can have a maximum of 16 transitions on a single line. How do I, how do you express that to exactly. an end user trying to set up multi-view? What we've decided was, look, that, that level of complexity belongs in the API so that a product team like yours can take it, can translate it into a real use case and can create software that's going to simplify that while, while maintaining the flexibility that your application exactly. needs. And I'm so happy that you just told me that's what you did. <laughs> exactly. instead, of, instead of letting the user shoot themselves, yeah. you say, wait a minute, you can't do this. Yeah. You know, here's what you can do instead. That's a great solution. I'm happy exactly. to hear it. I'm glad the system is working. Exactly. So, so that's, I mean, we're talking about flexibility now. Let's talk just a little bit uh, about availability. Um, I think I kind of know the answer to this, so I don't think I'm putting you on the spot too much. No. So, uh, but, but can Wirestorm deliver in less than 52 weeks? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, we have a stock. Awesome. As simple as that. Uh, as soon as you have a project ready, you can order from us, uh, and uh, in, it depends on which part of the world you need to get it, but stock is available, it's uh, in our warehouses, ready to be shipped immediately. Awesome, that's such fantastic news for, for integrators who are stuck, I mean, you know, you guys know better than I do, you, you don't get paid until you install the job. Exactly, but <laughs> so, uh, we got you covered. Awesome. Well, Zach, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll get an alert every week when we post a new video. Zach, your, uh, you mentioned your video recorded last year got 3,000 views. So exactly. let's help him beat his score. <laughs> all yeah. right, tell your friends, share this video, <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Face to Face AV.